Hey everybody, my name is Seth, and today we're gonna to be talking about how you can actually plan out a project and build a job site through Ray-E. They actually have some nice features in their cloud portal where you can go ahead and plan out your access points as well as plan out where your wireless bridges are gonna go before you even at the job site with accurate results, as well as some options to go ahead and get the heat mapping feature on your phone app when it comes to access points. So you can yet again, plan out the job site simply through your phone if you wanted to and save the image and export it out. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on both. Let's first hop into the phone app. Now we're in the Ray phone app and you can go ahead and download this on either the Play Store or the App Store. It's available on both. But once you're in there, just go ahead and log in or sign up if you haven't done so already. Once you're in there, go to the top right corner where it says Toolkit. And then the top left, it's gonna say Heat Map. Once it loads at the bottom, you're gonna go ahead and select that Start button and then go ahead and upload your floor plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then head into my photo library and pick out my floor plan that I'm gonna be using for this. Once you went ahead and selected it, it's gonna go ahead and start uploading the image onto the phone app. Once you're there, you're gonna go ahead and make an estimate. Now, if you know the exact square footage of the floor plan that you're looking at, put that in there, but in terms of meters. It's an easy conversion to go from square feet to meters. Just go ahead and search it up on you know Google to find that conversion. Um, for this one, I believe it's around 150 square meters. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put 150. And then you do have an option to actually manually do this, but we're gonna HUD and select the auto part because that's the main point of this. So I'm gonna hit next and it's gonna give about one to three minutes to go ahead and load this floor plan in. For me, right now, it just took about five seconds. So we are good to go. And as you can see, it's gone ahead and recommended us to put a total of four access points into this home for coverage of 97%, that is good, and 3% that is moderate. Now, this is a very good layout. It's laid it out for total uh, access points throughout this facility. And if we wanna go ahead and modify anything here, maybe move an access point around just to see what the coverage would be, or maybe delete one or add one in, depending on the budget, I can go ahead and select modify plan, go ahead and grab one, and move it around to a different location onto the floor plan. I can go ahead and select add product and they give you the list of the products from Ray E themselves. For example, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this uh, RG-RAP2260 parentheses H. I'm gonna select that and hit add and went ahead and added that in as well. I can also go ahead and when I'm selecting a product, easily delete it and it can put this one in if I'm gonna use this product instead. Now what I'm gonna do one more time as well is because I want to go ahead and see what I can do just as an example with just two access points. I'm going to go ahead and remove those, add a product in. I'm going to add one more of those same uh, access points into this facility, put it somewhere in the middle just to kind of get an idea, and then I'm going to hit done. And if I was manually doing the whole system, now it's going to take some time to go ahead and reload the new heat map. And as you can see, we do have one room that we're not gonna get that great coverage in, which is gonna be in that bedroom in the top left corner. Whereas the bedroom in the top right, we're good to go, and all the other facilities and places in the house. Now, the real benefit that you're getting from using the AI version of this when you're building the heat map is that it's auto-detecting walls and items such as that when you're building out this heat map in here. It's automatically detecting the walls, the locations. So it's gonna give you an accurate representation of what kind of coverage you're gonna get when you're using the Ray equipment for their home. Now that we're done with the phone app, showing you how easy it is to do the heat map function, we're gonna go ahead and jump on the laptop where we're gonna get a little bit more advanced options on there for both the heat map function and even the wireless bridge function. So let's hop on in. Now we're on the Ray E cloud portal on the laptop. If you haven't created an account, you can do it here as well. Um, if not, go ahead and log in. Once you're inside, go up to the top side of the screen where it says AI heat map and select that. Once you're in there, you're gonna go ahead and go to the blue button that says Create Bomb. And then you're gonna have some options to go ahead and name it. So I'm just gonna name it Test Project. And then you can go ahead and select a scenario as well. For example, like an office, retail shop. I'm just gonna leave it as universal for ease of sake. And I'm gonna select OK at the bottom. Once you're inside of here, you can go ahead and upload the floor plan. So I have a floor plan already downloaded that I'm gonna go ahead and select. Give it a few seconds to upload and we'll be good to go. 
So we are good here. I can go ahead and name the floor if I wanted to. For example, if this was like a multi-story building, I could name this something like ground floor or level one or whatever you want to name it. Now that's going to give us the option similar to the phone app where we now have to put in the actual area. Now I went ahead and beforehand made sure I found something to be exact on the square footage, which is 153 square meters for this project. And I'm going to leave wall recognition on and select OK. Give it a few seconds to load. Once it's gone ahead and recognized the walls, as you can see, it'll actually lay out where the walls are located and kind of give you that wall map in detail. Now, sometimes you may need to adjust some things. For example, it walled in the porch. Now, if the porch is walled in, maybe you have a sunscreen there, maybe that works out. You can make that adjustment. Um, anything in here you can adjust if you wanted to. I'm gonna leave it as is because it's pretty good how it is. So um, we're good here. And the top corner, I'm gonna select where it says AI placement. And now it's gonna analyze the floor plan and give us some scenarios on how this will actually be placed. And as you see, these things are moving around and they're actually trying to find the perfect placement. So this try to go ahead and place everything as best as possible with two APs, keeping it an affordable solution while still giving you a quite a long radius of capture. So looking at this as well, as you see the green meaning it's the best placement, yellow meaning moderate, red and those oranges meaning, you know, you're not gonna get a great connection there. But this is on the five gigahertz band. So if I go ahead and see what the 2.4 gigahertz band will look like, as you see, we're getting some phenomenal coverage there as well. So this is optimizing both the five gigahertz and the 2.4 to really maximize the space to the best of your ability. Um, and as you see, majority of this place is covered. And if your big point is to make sure you have great Wi-Fi coverage and the central location, and maybe that corner in the bottom left, you're gonna get your best Wi-Fi connection in there at five gigahertz. We can also go ahead and similar to how on the phone app, we can edit the products and choose and kind of relocate what we wanna do there. Another thing I wanna show you guys on here as well, besides this floor map and the heat map function, is how we can actually set up wireless bridges. So in the top left corner where it says WLAN, you can go ahead and select wireless bridge instead. And it's gonna go ahead and allow and look for your access. Um, as you see, we're now we're in the location of City of Industry, and I'm gonna go ahead, the first thing I personally like to do is turn on the survey satellite to get a view of everything in the neighborhood. Now what you can do is go ahead and go to your location that you're gonna be uh, checking out here. And this looks good here. So we're gonna use this building as an example and what we can do with the wireless bridges. So I'm gonna go ahead and select where it says add bridge at the top here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press where I want this located. Now this first point is gonna be our main wireless bridge that we're gonna be using. And I'm gonna go ahead and select out and say that we need wireless bridges at a variety of these different locations. So bam, there we go. I'm gonna hit enter. And now what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and select the actual product that we're gonna be displaying from. And I'm gonna go ahead and change this around a little bit if I wanted to. First, I'm gonna select manual at the top. Select where it says base station. I can rename it if I wanted to, for example, main point. But what I really wanna do is go up here where, to the top and I'm gonna change this to our RG EST 350. So once I select that, if you recognize there's orange lines on the actual device that are dashed changed because these wireless bridges have a nice narrow line of view, giving you an idea on how, where you're gonna actually have to place this. So if I go ahead and place and grab this wireless bridge that we had over here, you see how the line is red, but once I move it into the area of coverage, it'll turn blue. Now what I can do as well is go ahead and grab that number four and the last wireless bridge and move it in and this will also turn blue as well. Now another cool thing about it is we can actually see that this area is getting covered in green meaning that you get some good coverage here. So if I was to actually zoom out, I can actually see how far away and what areas if I would ever need to do some far coverage, how this actually covers and we can see how much area when I'm zooming in and moving around this map here um, that this wireless bridge is actually gonna cover. Um, and I'm gonna zoom out a bunch and we can see it's quite a big distance from the location here as well. Now that we got this project all set up on both the laptop and as well as the phone app, 
you're all ready to go. And you can really see how easy it is to set up your next networking project on Rayi and even your next wireless bridge setup if you're just adding some cameras on there as well. Now, another cool thing you can do as well, especially on the laptop, is you can actually export the information out onto like a PDF or even Excel file. So you can actually view this heat map and present this to your client as well and show them how you're going to set up the installation. There's so many options for you to do. And guys, thank you for watching.